subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another weekend readathon. Today is Friday. It's a beautiful day. And I really just want to spend most of my weekend just like reading, relaxing, rejuvenating. Yeah, that's the vibe. In my last reading vlog, which was another cozy weekend readathon, I read Black Cake and I started this book, Magnolia Parks. This weekend isn't going to be as like cozy, it's just going to be like super aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. Well, let's hope. <laughs> I do have some things to get done, like I need to go shopping, I need to like buy a dress for like these events that I have coming up. I need to read a lot and I, I do want to relax and have a good time, but I do have some things that I need to do. So that's just life. But I am going to be taking you guys along with me this weekend as I go on my reading journey life and all the things book related and life related. Let's talk about the books that I'm going to be reading. I'm only going to talk about the books as I read them so that, you know, yeah. Anyway, the first book, like I mentioned already, we're going to be starting off with Magnolia Parks. And so basically, a lot of people know about this book. And if you don't know about this book, leave a comment down below. So basically, the thing that I have learned about this book is Magnolia Parks is a person. Her parents are like rich and famous, which makes her like rich and famous because, you know, nepotism. <laughs> She's also dating, well, she knows this guy named BJ Ballantyne. He's like the notorious bad boy of London. He's also a London socialite. You know what? people are rich they're always in the same crowd right they go to the same kind of schools and all this so like that's that kind of vibe but it says like these two are meant to be and everybody knows it but it's giving toxic it says magnolia and bj are written in the stars but they hurt each other a lot of the time the crazy thing is like she's always dating other people to get back at him and he's always sleeping with other girls to get back at her but i'm like why and it says but finally after years of this something is catching up to them or it says their dysfunction is catching up to them <laughs> but they're not ready to let go as the cracks start to show and secrets begin to surface magnolia and bj are forced to face the formidable question they've been avoiding all their lives how many loves do you really get in a lifetime this is a pretty big series and so that's interesting i'm currently on page 77 chapter 10 and so far all i have learned about this book is that it does jump perspectives it gives us magnolia parks perspective and it also gives us bj valentine's perspective i just love that we know more than like yeah i just love that kind of book because it just makes me feel more connected to each character right now we are still in the character building phase of the book like we're i'm still meeting new characters like i literally read a little bit this morning and i had just met a new character daisy i haven't like grown a deep connection for anything yet because i, I feel like it's still building up something so i feel like i'm gonna have i just already know that the way the storyline is like i love the storytelling of the book i love how Wow, I feel like I'm watching like literally an episode of Gossip Girl. The way that it's explained, the way, the things that they're doing, the scenery, all the things. It's just giving like high society, rich people, like fun flex type of lifestyle. And like that's cool to read about I guess, you know? And so I can't wait to dive into it. So let's just get into it. Without further ado, let's start this reading vlog.
Saturday, to say the least. It really has. I have not caught up with you guys in a long time, but happy Saturday. It's now 8 p.m. Oops. I did not mean to turn that on, but it's on. Anyway, today I went to a local coffee shop that I recently discovered. My goal was to try something new this week, so the new thing I tried this week was a new local coffee shop. And whenever you're not a local going to a local place, it always feels a little bit like, you know but that's one thing that helps me become confident because i am doing things by myself that's a little scary so it becomes less scary over time you know what i mean so that's really cool i spent two or so hours two and a half hours there and then after that i came home and then i had the like the sudden urge to go book shopping i don't it was not planned normally i have my book shopping dates planned in advance i'm like today i'm gonna go book shopping because like that's an all-day event and it's exhausting and like it's fun, but like the way I go book shopping, I'm if I'm gonna go to the, the bookstore, I'm prepared to be there like all day, right? Well, at least like majority of like a few hours. So it was just, yeah, that's why I plan for these things. I don't just like go. Today was one of those days where I just showed up and just like went with the flow of whatever I felt the urge to do. So I felt the urge to go to a bookstore, so I went to a bookstore. Of course, I went to Barnes & Noble today, and I filmed that whole experience. I got some new books, and so if you're curious as to what like they are, then check out that book shopping video because, yeah, it's already up. Anyway, after I finished filming that video, I literally like passed out, fell asleep hard. Hard. Like, I literally, like, fell asleep hard on the couch, which I don't normally do. Yeah. So, now I'm awake. <laughs> but the reason why I wanted to come back and update you because I really need to, like, redo my hair. And so, I didn't want to come back on the screen with a whole different hairstyle, a whole different vibe. Like, what happened? Where did you go, you know? It's time to say goodbye to the Bohemian Braids. I know. I know. They have done some great things for me in this season that I have worn them. It's a great protective style. But it's time for my hair to like come back out and be wild and free. Not necessarily wild, but definitely free. So that's the goal today, tonight, which I don't know how long it's gonna take me. So I'm gonna be taking off my braids and then restyling and refreshing my, my hair, doing a hot oil treatment, like all of the nine. Like remember, today is Saturday, and we talked about this in my last reading vlog, that Saturdays are like beauty days inner and outer beauty days the outer portion for today is like my hair all that is to say is i love saturdays for that reason because i don't feel bad that i'm about to be up on i doing my hair because this day is specifically made for this event this situation you know what i'm saying but anyway let's talk about books for a second oh my god i found out what bj did that basically like ruined everything but i don't really know the full full details but i just know like they are starting to unfold some truths about the past they are starting to like reveal and tell us like what happened so like it's definitely starting to pick up it jumps back and forth between the past and the present because like it revealed what bj did in the past but then you jump to the present moment and like stuff is still going on and it just makes you understand things much more like it just makes you understand more but then you also feel like so annoyed and aggravated because of the stuff that's going on currently despite everything that happened in the past it's just like girl what are y'all doing <laughs> and it's just so crazy like this game that they're literally playing with each other but it's not even a game like it's so real but they are just immature you know just toxic that's literally what it is i'm gonna give you a better update later but like i said i literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago and i was like if i don't start doing my hair now then yeah so i just want to give you an update i'm gonna give you a better update probably tomorrow